Reflect IoT is the internet of dimensions. And what that's really getting at, the dimensions are 1D, 2D, 3D. It's a different type of digital twin. It's an asset digital twin. So it resides in the operations space as opposed to in the design space. So Reflect IoT picks up at that um, transition from the build phase into the operations phase. So we can help with the commissioning going from build to operate. And then we can help throughout the span of operations and then also help through decommissioning. Typically, um, digital twins are thought of as the ones that you're in the design phase and uh, you're wanting to simulate something before you actually go physically build it. Reflect IoD sits on the other side of that. Once the asset is already in operations, now you've got a digital twin where you've utilized a lot of the models and information that were developed during the development phase and you're utilizing them in the operations trying to make the workforce around them more efficient, trying to make the operations in general more efficient. So we have a two-pronged approach to the market. So some customers go the fast approach with a proof of value that's four to six months. Some customers already have some uh, use cases that, that they want to go that fall more into our custom bucket. Since Reflect IoD is an accelerator, it's highly customizable and really address whatever the customer, whether they need custom Power BI dashboards or they need custom functions written into the cloud or they want to bring in IoT data um, and it's very hard to access. All of that can be done through these accelerators. All the different uh, disparate data sources that you're trying to relate at the bottom, whether they be databases on one end or machine connectivity, sensors, IoT data, video streaming, all of those things at the, the bottom that your data sources that you're ingesting into the cloud. Now you're using cloud technologies to form the digital twin itself in the cloud. And then you've got your presentation layer where now I can build dashboards, whatever use cases that I've decided to implement, whatever business outcomes I'm trying to achieve, those can also be done in the various cloud technologies.